entrepreneurs! Today's topic is how to create customer invoice in Sage One Accounting and this will be presented to you in a step-by-step -step method. Today, you will learn all about the four steps to create a customer invoice in Sage One. What is customer invoice? What are the information that you need to prepare? How to access customer invoice page? How to save customer invoice in PDF, Excel or any other formats? And how to send the customer invoice to customers directly from Sage Accounting? Hi there! I'm so happy to see you here today. I'm Sharon from NutsAccounting.com and I help online entrepreneurs to use cloud accounting system like a pro in simple English. At Nuts Accounting, there's weekly tips and tutorials on cloud accounting system and online business curated just for you. And don't forget to grab your free guide for this video is 10 tips on customer invoices page in Sage One Accounting and you can get this copy at nutsaccounting.com forward slash Sage Customer Invoice. I repeat nutsaccounting.com forward slash Sage Customer Invoice. Just a quick disclaimer, this video is not sponsored by Sage One Accounting in any ways at all. I'm a Sage One Certified Advisor and I receive a small commission when you sign up or renew your Sage One subscription using my referral code. I created this video only based on my personal experience in using Sage One Accounting and I hope that by sharing my knowledge with you, you can use your Sage One Accounting better. So first off, what is a customer invoice? A customer invoice is a commercial document which records a transaction of sales to your customer. And step one, of course, is to prepare all the information that you need. So step one, the information that you need before you can start creating your new invoice is of course your customer name and address, the delivery name and address if it is different from your customer name, the customer's PO number or the purchase order number or any other reference number if you have it, and the sales details if you are selling of goods you will need to have the items, the quantity and the selling price and if you are selling a service to your customer, you will need to have the details of services and your selling price. And of course, you will need to have your tax code. This tax code, you may refer to your accountant what are the tax code that you need to use. And if you are a GST registered or VAT registered for any tax at all, you will need to uh, follow the tax requirements for your customer invoice layout. Step 2. Sage Accounting at a customer invoice page. So now that we have all the information, now that we have all the information that you need to create your customer invoice on hand, now all we need to do is log in to your Sage One Accounting system. So log in to your Sage Accounting system and on your dashboard, you will notice there's a menu bar at the top of the page. On this menu bar here, click on customers click transactions and then customer tax invoices. So the, your computer, your browser will load to this new page, your customer tax invoices. Click on the blue button, add a tax invoice. And now step three, fill in the customer invoice page. In the customer invoice page, you will need to fill in all these details here. First off, you will need to fill in your customer name at this section and then you will need to fill in the customer reference number and then the, if you have any sales order you, will, you can fill in here and you can fill in your invoice layout and your sales representative name if you have one and then fill in the date of your invoice and your due date and also the discount percentage if you, if you are giving a discount on the total invoice itself and the next one is to fill in your delivery address and your postal address. And then check on this checkbox if, you are, if your item selling price is an inclusive selling price of your tax. Like uh, if your tax is $5, then you, can, you, you want to include in the selling price, then you need to check this box to include the tax into your selling price. 
and then fill in all the details here for all the uh, individual items that you are selling to your customer. So now let's look more closely on the use inclusive amount checkbox. In this checkbox, if in this use inclusive amount checkbox, this determines what is the price that you are going to fill in into your line item details. So if you are charging any tax amount to your customer there is two different uh, two different pricing that you will have one is before you calculate the tax the next one is of course after inclusive of your tax so how do you need to cal uh, how do you calculate this is if my price before tax is $100 and my tax percentage is 6% so my tax will be $6 so the price after tax will be 106 so if I want to fill in my line items with $100 the price before tax then my use inclusive amount must be unchecked in the box so this is a sample here I uncheck I uncheck this use inclusive amount and I fill in the exclude price here as $100 and if I would prefer to use the price after tax to include the tax calculation into this as well and let uh, Sage want to automatically calculate the uh, tax portion for me what I need to do is just to check the checkbox here so check this checkbox and fill in your item selling price with 106 which is already inclusive of your tax amount so once you have filled up all this information you will need uh, if you have more items to add on to add into these lines so but the lines will run out so you can click on the plus and the minus sign to add or delete any certain line any lines that you need to add or delete and then fill in the message at the bottom here if you have any particular message that you would like to provide to your customer in the invoice itself you can type it into this box and then check all the amounts of the totals if this is correct and last but not least click a uh, look at this bottom menu here the bottom options here you can click save and save new which will bring you to this page if you click save and new which is a new invoice page and if you click on print preview it will come to this page of print preview and on this print preview page at the top menu here there's a little bar two bars here you can click on these buttons to email and print to your customer or you can click on this box and save as various formats you can save as pdf excel excel which is xls or you can save as text or you can save as microsoft document a word file rtf or you can also save it as a jpeg file in the image if you choose image and then once you have clicked on any of this and click on the save diskette button a new file will download onto your computer at the bottom of the page here so once you have downloaded it head on over to your download folder if you are using google chrome or internet explorer or microsoft edge head on to your downloads folder and you will find your new downloaded pdf file here for your invoice so now let's look at how this file looks like in a pdf format so this is uh, I've already opened this file in my Adobe P uh, PDF reader so this is how it looks like and then step 4 send your invoice to your customer to send your invoice to your customer there is a few ways the first of all is from the Sage uh, system itself the second way is of course you can just like what we have already downloaded just now as a PDF file you can compose a new email in your email software and then attach the PDF file and send to your customer but I'm going to show you how to do this inside Sage one accounting system so in Sage accounting system click on email button right next to the print preview and it will comes uh, it will load to this page where it says email text invoice at the top of the header 
so all these details here you will need to fill this up if you have already saved the email address in your customer's master file the email address will automatically populate it here in the recipient's field if you do not have if you do not have any information of the email address you can type it in manually or if you need to cc or bcc anyone you can also type it in during uh, this stage here then fill in all the information compose your email and com uh, write your subject compose your email and do note that the text invoice is already attached in the attachment here as the pdf file so fill up all this information and once you are done click on email report so once you click on this your customer will receive an email this is my sample here your customer will receive an email that looks like this you can see here the PDF file is attached into this email as an attachment or your customer can also choose to view the invoice online through the customer zone from stage 1 so I'm going to show you how the customer zone looks like so once they click on this link here they will be brought to this page which is a customer zone for from Sage one itself so they can they can download this invoice they can print this invoice or they can also email this invoice directly from here to somebody else as well so the next one is the delivery note if you have uh, if you need to prepare a delivery note especially if you are selling goods you can click on this button print delivery note and it will expand these two options for you print the invoice and delivery note or to email the invoice and delivery note so in this example here i click on print and it will download this pdf file onto my computer and i go to my downloads folder and i click on this file here text invoice and delivery note and this invoice will op open up in my adobe pdf reader which the first page is my invoice page one is the invoice and the second page is the delivery note of my items and the next one is emailing your invoice and delivery note so just the same thing when you click on this button it will the stage one system will bring you to this page where you can fill up and compose your email here and just click on email report so once they receive once your customer received the email this time they will receive two different pdf files PDF files in the email one is the invoice another one will be the delivery note and the same way they have the customer zone here as well so now that's all of the steps to create your customer invoice in Sage One accounting and don't forget to grab your free guide of 10 tips on customer invoices page in Sage One accounting at nutsaccounting.com forward slash Sage customer invoice. I repeat nutsaccounting.com forward slash Sage customer invoice. Just a quick recap, you have learned four steps to create a customer invoice in Sage accounting. What is customer invoice? What are the information that you need to prepare? and how to assess customer invoice page and how to save customer invoice in PDF, Excel or other formats and last but not least, how to send the customer invoice to your customers directly from Sage One Accounting So let me know in the comments below what is the next Sage Accounting tutorial that you would like to learn and remember, if you are new here, subscribe to Nuts Accounting channel and ring the bell button to receive notification. If you like this video, click the like button and remember to share it with your friends. As always, Nuts Accounting is here to help you to master cloud accounting system and grow your business. If you want to see more videos on cloud accounting system or online business, click or tap on the screen right there and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye!